All right, let's get some revenge. Love. Love a spot of revenge. And then we'll go do the one that I thought we were doing. <laughs> Floor 32? Oh, boy. That's a, that's a journey. Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully hacking should be fine now. If it's not, then... I don't know what to do. <laughs> but it should be fine. Okay, I can't force that open. But I can tech this open. And this is not the same room. <laughs> she. Who's there? Gotta see Gustavo. Who? Think you got the wrong address. Uh I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> Because we're not running a fucking charity, mano. Let's panic, more cut. Above the hill. Maybe that'll teach Why that does it keep, that it keeps pinging and then not actually highlighting people. That's weird. God grant me the patience to track down that bastardo. Contagion. Transport has been arranged. Uh, okay. <gasps> Moment of truth. Can I? Wait, shit. Oh, cameras. Is there anyone left alive? Doesn't look like it. Whoa, what the fuck? Maybe it does look like it. Oh, why is Ping not highlighting people anymore? Oh, wait, this is Gustavo? Oh, well, kill yourself, Gustavo. I don't understand. Ping is suddenly just not pinging people. Bye. Wait, why did that... There was one there was one objective which was like bring his body out and then when I got him to suicide it removed that option. So was that only if he was alive? Hey, I can hack things again. We love to see it. We love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. Cuz I'm pretty sure he never mentioned bring him out alive. He just said the the mission is literally called bring me his head. Not bring me him alive. Just bring me his entire head. Do, do, do. Gotta admit, we didn't expect much from your ride, but we breathed new life into her somehow. Looked like you dragged it back from the front lines of a war zone, amigo. Anyways, we replaced the radiators, docked to the bodywork, and put in bulletproof glass for the rear windows like you asked. She's ready to pick up in two days. Did he have anything on him? It was this guy, right? Gustavo and Carubo. There's a problem. You heard what happened. Those pendejos from the 6th. What about them? 
You must find them and thank them for me. I pay well. Why ask me? Can't drag my people into this. Uh, and I hear you used to have a talent for giving thanks. Not wrong, am I? No, it's true. Used to is right. Testing the waters? Fine, I'll double the pay. <laughs> double of zero is still zero. Looking to start a private war with 6th Street? You asked the wrong man. What the fuck? Why is his blood, like, yellow? Da 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 How far down is it to the street? Ah, uh, that would probably kill me, right? Whee! Going down. Going down. And around. Those who exact justice do so on behalf of our Lord. You've done well, Ravine. Damn straight. I know this isn't always easy. And that's why I applaud your decision today. Contract closed. Lovely. Heading rapidly towards half a million. Okay, now is this the one that we thought we were going to be doing and then we picked the wrong one accidentally? We have a whole bunch of vehicles now. My favourite's still the first one though, Jackie's Arch. Yeah, this is the place. Okay. Good day, V. There is a man who must meet justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. Yeah, this is the place that we thought we were going to last time. He's literally just stood in right through this door, right? <laughs> Wait, is that the guy we were just... No. The, the text messages we just read between the other person, that wasn't to Karubo, was it? I feel like it might have been. I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it is literally that dude right there. Carry his body outside? Why? That wasn't part of it last time. What? There was no... God damn it, man. Normally it gives you a warning indicator, right? It's like, hey, they're seeing you, they're seeing you, they're seeing you, and now they've seen you. This time... This time that did not happen. He just instantly saw me. So that's great. Yo, you're fucking quick off the mark. Well, I guess we won't do this as cleanly as we did last time. Last time we were in and out without a fucking shot, but... It, uh... It appears... It appears we're going to get fucked this time. Outstanding payments. Do do do. Okie doke. Wait, why do I not have any mission objectives on my gig thing anymore?
Praise be to thee. P. He doesn't say. He's got subtitles there that he doesn't actually say. Well, I mean, he didn't call me out for not being quiet. That mission just seems a bit bugged. <laughs> First time I lost my ability to hack, second time it took away my objectives and stuff and didn't show me that the dude was spotting me. Do, do, do. There was nothing I want to put any more perk points into, was there? Really? Nah. I was thinking about some of this stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't. I'm not nothing. There's nothing that's particularly uh, particularly grabbing me. Anyway, next up, I'm going to 180 and head over there. Where did I park my bike? Did I park it somewhere around here? Don't know. Too busy looking back. It feels bad. No phone call? Ah. Got a client who needs to get a certain shot. Problem is. The shards in the skull of a courier who's currently stretched out on the crematorium slab. Details are attached. <laughs> that does seem like it could be a little bit of an issue. I'd like you to commit a minor transgression against God and his people, disturbing the dead from their eternal rest. Deceased's name is Jim Greyer. He smuggled unstable shards by slotting them inside his head. Sadly, during his last transit, things went sideways. The demon got out of its cage and barbecued his brain. Jim Greyer ended up in La Katrina Funeral Home along with my client's shard. Go to La Katrina, find Greyer's body, and get that shard, shard before it's burnt to cinders. FYI, the crematorium's cozy with the Valentinos. That's where they get rid of their bodies. One wrong move, and you'll end up there too. Don't worry, man. I'm pretty fucking great. They ain't gonna do shit. Wait, what? Hacking this puts you... Oh, god damn it. I didn't realise hacking... Things like this alerts the enemies to you? Like, oh, fuck. Fuckaroo. Uh, there is no E9 there. 7A1CBD. Nope, that's not possible with either of these either. You hate to see it. Even here, 7A1C. There's no, there's no BD in either of these columns. God damn it. That's all. Can't be done. No, 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 no. Fucking hell, man. Jesus Christ. I think I might be dead. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to immediately take another. And then another. <laughs> okay, I just pumped through a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of health packs there, but it's fine because we have literally hundreds. 
What are the what are the fucking uh, things next to my health bar? Zero zero and then three twenty seven. What does that actually mean? I don't know. Okay, there's nothing on that. <laughs> do, do, do. Fifty-five, fifty-five, one C. Seven A, fifty-five. Do 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 God, there's a lot of things to hack around here. One C fifty-five seven A fifty-five one C E nine. Where that body at? Where the body? Where the body? Where the body at? Downstairs. Ah, yes. Okay, I see. I see. Looking, uh, looking, looking great there, dude. You've, uh, you've, you've outdone yourself. Let's make sure he's really dead. Imagine one of these bodies just like gets up. It's like suck, bro. We're out of here. Just another day at the morgue. The cult of Santa Muerte. Who is the lady of the night? We don't fear death. What's to be afraid of? Santa Muerte is a good friend, our close companion. We know how to talk to her, and we know when there's no more room to negotiate. This is one of the first responses I heard while asking residents of Vista del Rey about Santa Muerte, sacred death. Her worship, officially condemned by the Roman Catholic Church but heavily influenced by its rites, is unusually popular among those of Mexican origin, and especially in Night City. Few realise that the cult finds its roots in ancient times. It's highly likely that Santa Muerte first arose as a fusion of the beliefs of the Aztecs, Mayans, and other indigenous residents of South America with those of the Catholic Church, first brought to the continent centuries ago by the Spanish Conquistador Conquistadors. Uh, Our Lady of Holy Death, also known as Lady of the Night, Senora de la Noche, is a fascinating deity. Her wide-ranging devotees include prisoners, gangsters, and drug dealers, but also police officers, prostitutes, and others who work under the cloak of night. In other words, anyone whose life is in constant danger. Even at the turn of the 21st century, persecuted members of the LGBT community would also pray to her. Santa Muerte offers her protection to anyone who asks for it while leaving an appropriate offering to her altar. Rum and tequila, fruit, cigarettes, candy, or flowers. Interestingly enough, it is believed she does not distinguish between morally sound and mor morally questionable requests. Her worshippers pray for health and happiness, but also revenge or the death of their enemies. Everyone, no matter the request, must remember one thing. Every prayer offered carries a price. If you don't pay, Santa Muerte will take someone close to you. And she would have every right to do so. Santa Muerte is not just another chthonic goddess of the underworld. She is the saint of the rejected, the excommunicated, of those who feel somehow unfit to ask God directly to intervene. It should come as no surprise then that so many Night City residents consider her their patron. Ver 
Peru. He almost stumbled back into my fucking path. That would have been a very unfortunate thing for you, sir. Donk! You're an angel sent from heaven, B. I know. The demon possessed shards on its way to the client, just like your money's on its way to you. I'm closing the contract. I know, baby. Next up. Detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built in AI. Experimental model. Huh? Name Skippy. Skippy? You serious? <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. <laughs> Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Uh, never mind. Uh, was that your owner? Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request, no objections found. Can I change your name? Can I change your name? No. Why not, considering I'm your new owner? Increasing volume by 300%. Uh-oh. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You fully functional? Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Uh... Bum, bum, be dumb, <laughs> bum, bum. Be what, dumb, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Test successfully completed. The well, that was faster than 47 seconds. 0 .01 alpha is running correctly. What can you do? All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature: automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. <laughs> I've actually heard about this. Uh, whichever one you choose, after like 50 kills or something, uh, it will then swap to the opposite mode and you can't change it back. So if you want it to be stone cold killer, and you want to actually use it, you should choose Puppy Loving Pacifist because it will become Stone Cold Killer after, I think it was like 50 kills or something. Uh, so, I mean, I don't... It's not like... Am I going to get 50 kills with it? Maybe not, but it might be fun. So let's go Puppy Loving Pacifist. Uh, guess I'll go with Puppy Loving Pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Ugh. Selected mode, puppy-loving pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies. 
sweet. That is great. That is great. Uh, which gun did that replace? It replaced the Overwatch gun. 423 is actually better than the Assault Rifle. Let's get rid of the Assault Rifle and put the Overwatch gun back in. Like so. Do we have any mods that would be good for it? Not really. It's so powerful. 75% <laughs> respect. 20% Mikoshi. 30% race against time. Reasons for firing. Unknown. Uh, okay. I pressed left trigger to aim down sight, and it automatically fired. <laughs> okay, it didn't do it that time. <laughs> Is it just fucking with me? I guess it's just fucking with me. So what are we doing now? Like... We discovered it. It's still pointing me back here. Am I, is it because I didn't scan this dude? I don't understand. Was it? What does it want me to do? Is it bugged out? It just still says undiscovered, but it has been discovered. Is it bugged out? I guess so. Oh, that's annoying. Hello? Why can't I? God damn it. Now I can't set anything on the map. Game, what are you doing? I can set manual markers. Why can't I mark side jobs? I can mark that side job. Why can't I mark that side job? What the fuck? Weird. Weird, weird. Weird, weird. Okay. I mean, let's try and get kills with Skippy, I guess. It's still combat. I hadn't got rid of my police star yet. Oh, go away. Go away, police. Wait, is this fucking dead end? God damn it. It should be around here somewhere, right? Uh, take a left. Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong 
Bucks, Buck. Uh, this, we're sitting in the bar? Yeah. What is our bar? Wait. Ah. Oh, uh, oh, Wells, hey. What's happening? Anything interesting to happen in the area. Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. Where they end up? Behind bars. This neighborhood died a long time ago. Oh, feels bad. How are you holding up? How do you feel? How am I supposed to feel? I'm sorry. She's very hard to hear. I shouldn't have. It's just not me. I don't even have his body. They say that the rules are for the baby. How can I say goodbye? I can't even give him a proper funeral. Mi propio hijo. When? Okay, Where did Delamain take Jackie's body again? I can't talk about this now. Okay. Did you talk to Misty? Did you ever talk to Misty in the end? I did, like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And. You saw her at the funeral. She looks like that's not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentric. Said my home sits on a natural energy source, but I think I know why, Jack. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. Well, that's good. I'll have a drink. I do Oh. I thought we were going to have a drink together, not that she was a vendor. <laughs> Hi. Hey, back off. Ain't your biz here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Chew, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in hey, your wait. ribs. Know this fuck. For fire with our boys. You know, what would stop us in that hit? Well, just got real fucking it. Yeah! <laughs> 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 what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up. Man. God damn! Sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck! What a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Uh, because I knew you got scratch. Because you look like you got some eds on you. I see nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest, bartender got the rest. All you've got is 650. I don't believe that. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, Pete. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Uh, sure. Won't say no to a free drink. The good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years, man, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Base solid. You want me to go kill that dude? <laughs> Meddling in someone's marriage knows that. Fit, keep talking. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or, I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Uh, how'd you know she's cheating? Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, 
there is a way around every test now. Huh. Uh why do you want to know? Well that seems obvious. Why you wanna know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Where do I find her? Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like I got them tire fire. Like at this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure, I'm in. Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. You contact added. Cool, okay. Go to the area where his wife works CD during bars, the day. Betrayal, a beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. Are you about done? I'm trying to focus. Yep, he's done. <laughs> we just got a uh, we just got a message from Claire. Apologies are in order. Hey V, sorry I got you mixed up in all this. Uh, don't worry, you gave me a chance to walk away. I knew what I was signing up for. I don't know, maybe I'm starting to feel guilty? It's dumb. He deserved it. I know, Dean would have wanted me to move on instead of just dwelling on the past. Thanks for everything V. Take care. Maybe I did make the wrong choice of letting her kill him, but it was pretty good. It was pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> um, right, cool. Okay, well, we have a new quest. Uh, let's get rid of this map marker. And that is our new destination. However, we're going to have to leave this one off here and return to it next time because we are out of time. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Cyberpunk 2077. Thanks for watching. See you then.